Sure. So usually um, when it comes to if, if a patient has um, you know, reasonable kidney function and we decided with the urology team that the CAT scan contrast is the best study for this patient, um, usually, um, I, I mean, it, I usually don't make any changes until about a day out of, outside of their procedure. If they're taking, for example, um, diuretic medications or water pills, for example, um, such as furosemide or hydrochlorothiazide, as long as the patient's blood pressure is relatively controlled, I may just ask them to hold off on taking that water pill for about 24 hours um, before their CAT scan is done. I also ask them to drink a lot of fluids um, both before and after their CAT scan. And for patients that, are, that I'm specifically worried about, I'll usually have them check their kidney function before their study is um, just to establish a baseline and about 24 to 48 hours after their study. Um, it's not uncommon though to see um, the GFR uh, decline a little bit after the contrast study, but usually um, the, the, the kidney function kind of pops back up again and they go back to their baseline. Um, it's uh, pretty rare, though, to have patients to have uh, to, to have sustained low GFRs after a contrast. So, um, and that's why I like to monitor these monitor the patients pretty carefully, even though I know the likelihood of them having a low GFR after contrast is um, is, is unlikely. I think it's a, a bit of peace of mind for everybody.